responsibility or lack of responsibility that I'm starting to take in the new year is just really more about that, more about this idea of not being responsible for other people's feeling and thinking. And it's, it's a really interesting thought because if I'm not responsible for other people's feeling and thinking, it really frees me up to be responsible for only my own feeling and thinking. And in being responsible for only my own feeling and thinking, I can have, if I'm aware of that feeling and thinking and not buying into it and not getting engaged in it, a much lighter experience of other people. And having the lighter experience of other people keeps me in a state of greater clarity where I'm capable of hearing things in a different way, I'm capable of expressing things in a different way, I'm capable of problem solving in a different way. If I'm not buying into your stuff and I'm not buying into my stuff, my mind is free and clear. And this is really what I was talking about in the last video, this idea of not buying into, not, not being responsible for somebody else's feeling and thinking, knowing that they are responsible for their own thinking and feeling, gives me a lot of freedom. And knowing that I'm responsible for my own feeling and thinking allows me not to buy into that and gain, gives me a lot of freedom. And that freedom is the capacity to, to be in a kinder, more loving, more gentle, more secure personal space, which is not a bad thing. It's not going to lead me to being, you know, a less nice person. In fact, it gives me the space to be a nice person, a higher quality individual, which, you know, I would like to strive to be in my life. So see if that makes sense to you. I don't know if I've really managed to explain it in a way that I want to, but see if that makes sense to you and let me know what you think.